Stand still. I said stand still. Suck in your tummy and stand still. What's up guys, Jared here with another very particular movie review. So the Oscar nominees were announced about a week ago, and now it's everyone's duty to go out and see those movies that are so-called the best of the best. I'm slowly working through my backlog, and this week I was able to check out the Paul Thomas Anderson, Daniel Day-Lewis-led film, Phantom Thread. So is Phantom Thread about dressmaking ghosts? Let's find out. So Phantom Thread is set in 1950s post-war London and focuses on Reynolds Woodcock, played by Daniel Day-Lewis, and his sister, played by Leslie Manville. The Woodcocks are at the center of British fashion, dressing royalty, movie stars, and many others. If you are a woman of importance, then you've got a little cock on you. Uh, I mean, like, Woodcock dresses not... yeah... Aside from fashion and dresses, a lot of the film focuses on Reynolds Woodcock. He is sort of a bachelor, having women come and go, and he only uses them really for inspiration and companionship. He is a very particular man, having his career come first, until the day he meets a strong-willed woman by the name of Alma, played by Vicky Kripes. As her strong will butts heads with his structured life, she soon becomes a fixture of his life. So Phantom Thread is 100% an Oscar bait movie. It has characters who transformed for these performances, a complex character-driven story and life-changing conflict weaved into the mix. I know people are raving about this film, but I just thought it was all right. Like, it wasn't really my style. So first things first, the performances here. Double D Lewis transforms himself into this Reynolds Woodcock character. Surprisingly, this role is the one that he looks the most like himself, but don't be surprised by that for a second. He is this fierce, career-driven man, but he also has the persona of a young boy who doesn't get his way, and he's kind of odd when you take a closer look. I miss my mom. That's why her hair is lining this jacket. He is very particular, and when things don't go on schedule, he's not happy. Day-Lewis is amazing at being this well-mannered, calm man, but at the drop of a pin, pun intended, he can be essentially yelling at your face, calling you an idiot. Now, acting opposite of one of the best actors there is, is Vicky Kripes. Cripes? Cripes? I, I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Her Alma character went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Day-Lewis on screen, almost taming this scheduled man and keeping him at bay. In the movie, her methods are a bit sinister, but in a weird, roundabout way, it's loving and it works. There's some chilling stuff in Phantom Thread, and Kripes does a phenomenal job at portraying this tension throughout all of these scenes. If anything, Phantom Thread has two fantastic leads, and their polarizing chemistry just works throughout the movie. Phantom Thread has this weird kind of an eerie, tense mood over much of the movie. I don't know if it was certain shots or the way that characters basically had full conversations with just looks. It really upped the tension when you know that something is about to happen, but it's slowly being portrayed on screen and you already know the outcome. It was anxiety inducing to say the least. Now I know that this movie is getting some Oscar buzz and it's generally liked by critics, but man is this movie slow. It's a two hour plus movie, but everything just goes so slow. It's character driven and the conversations move the movie forward, but with all of the tension and stuff waiting to happen, you're just kind of sitting there. It's not a huge knock, but be warned, this movie is slow. Aside from the slow movement, the story was alright. It wasn't anything special, just this unconventional love story between a man that is too career focused and this woman that just wants more attention. Deep down, it's about sacrifice and a few other weird tangents, but the outline of that has already been done before. Overall, Phantom Thread is an unconventional love story about a man that's too career focused and a woman that just wants to be noticed. With top-notch performances and an eerie, weird vibe over much of the movie, but with the plot unfolding at a snail's pace, and the story kind of just being a twist on the classic love story, I'd recommend checking out Phantom Thread. Be warned, it's slow, but for the two leads, it's well worth it. What did you think of Phantom Thread? Was it the Double D Lewis Oscar-worthy movie you were hoping for? Or was this movie just too slow and not much to offer? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time... I'll see you later.